G'day guys, welcome back. Well today I'm here with my little WL Toys 3 channel RC plane. I actually bought this last winter and I'd done a quick unboxing on it back then. It was the rainy season so I couldn't actually fly it. Um, so it's been stored away for a while. Uh, I'll put the link to the unboxing in the top corner of the screen there if you want to check that out. But uh, yeah, after flying the Z51 uh, I thought uh, I'll, I'll put this one quickly together and uh, give this one a go. This is a three channel plane, has no gyro stability. As you can see on the back, it's got um, the rudder and the ailerons to control the lift and the right, left and right turns. So uh, it's a little bit different than the other one that I flew the other day. Uh, a little bit more involved, an extra channel there. So should be a lot of fun. Um, this one runs off a 500 milliamp hour one cell battery and I believe it's claimed to have something like a 15 plus minute flight time. I won't be flying it that long. But it's uh, a pretty calm here today. There is a little bit of wind. I have my other favorite uh, field that I fly FPV usually and I've done a few reviews here. So I'm gonna give it a go guys. So it's already powered on. And as you can see, she's ready to go. So um, I'm going to change to my hat cam and uh, let's see how I go with my first flight of a three channel airplane and this airplane in general. So there's no re rehearsals here. So hopefully I can um, bring it back home in one piece because this uh, foam is not the same as the uh, Z51 Predator. As you can see, it's more like a styrofoam packaging. So it is weaker. So hopefully um i don't crash <laughs> as these winds are slowly picking up so all right straight to the cat, hat cam footage and i'll take it for its first maiden flight and just as i set up my hat cam what would you know i've got the sprinklers running on this field they the reticulation has just started so uh, i'll go for it who cares I'm flying to the wind see if i can take off from the without hand launching it I'm going to have to hand launch it. <laughs> oh, well, if I get wet, I get wet. Alright. That wasn't so bad. We'll just move over here. Let's try to get out in the sun. So it's just <laughs> that's the headwind towards the college here. I mean first row, I'll just stay away from these sprinklers. Getting a bit windy now guys. Probably hear it in the microphone. But yeah, oh, bring it up. Oh, I'm going out of control here. The wind's really kicking up. Got to play with the throttle a bit. So I'll just walk over here a bit more. All right, so first little crash. Again a bit windy but give it a go. I'll hand launch it again. Because this grass is too thick. These wheels it's sort of calm down a bit now. See, it's getting blown around. Oh, it's gonna stall. <laughs> All right, let me just try to I'm upside down. What? That was a loop that I didn't want to do. So I'm just trying to keep it in the air guys the best I can. 
wind's picked up now. When I left home, it was nice and calm. I actually went to the other field that I was at the other day, but there was uh, grounds workers there. So I couldn't, uh, couldn't go do it at peaking and troughing, guys. <laughs> Definitely a calm day fly like the other one. Where's the race? I'm in high rate now. Alright, so this is a bit of a messy flight, but I'm trying my best. Keep it away from that tree. <laughs> Still having fun though, guys. <laughs> Look at these birds, man, they're loving it. <laughs> Got a bit of a dog fight happening with these uh, pink and grey galahs. They want to fly with the. Uh, <laughs> providing them some entertainment, something to chase. That's awesome. Didn't expect that. All right, this calm down a bit now. So maybe I'll just go. I'll go into low rate for now. I'll just try to. Oh man, I don't want to go too high. Apparently this plane is. Uh... Lower the throttle. Just let it glide now. Apparently this plane has got a 200 meter range, guys. So I'm just letting it glide, no throttle now. Just purely, just letting it glide. I'll try to bring it over this way. It's, uh got the aileron facing down. Right, got it back. Add the throttle. I look at this thing, it's getting tossed around badly now. I've got some good wind here. You can hear that in the microphone. You can definitely be able to hear that in the microphone now. Alright. Well guys, I might leave it at that because I'd like to keep flying it. This wind has really picked up on me now. So, um... I'll take it out again on a calm day, it's just, I don't know if you can see that on camera, that big tree straight ahead, near the roadside there, that's really moving around, so it's becoming impossible to control this thing up high, or even just general, just general flying, I mean look at that, you can see it shaking now, so a uh, lot of fun, a lot of fun, I had a lot of fun, <laughs> even though it was a messy flight, but uh, that was just due to the wind, but um, fairly easy to control. I mean, you got the. Uh, let me just show you. Let it bind. You've just got the the rudder and the aileron up and down. So, yeah, very controllable. Um, very easy to, pretty easy to fly. I mean, if I had a calm day, I'm sure I would have flew it a lot better and it did crash a couple of times there due to the wind obviously I couldn't you know help that but uh it held up there's nothing broken on it so far this is rather weak um you know it's weaker foam than the other one it's not EPP foam it's more like what you find in the styrofoam packaging but uh I'm, I'm happy to get it up in the air at least for a few minutes there um like I said the 500 milliamp hour um, one cell lipo is a lossy, white lossy plug. So it's like those X5C SEMA style plugs. You probably put uh, larger lipos in there, uh, you know, the 700, 750 or what have you. Um, and it should be able to handle that extra little bit of weight from the lipo. Um, probably could handle an FPV system all in one camera. I might try that later on down the track. And uh, yeah pretty impressed with this little guy I mean it fought the wind the best it could <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was pretty manageable anyway I mean considering the conditions so I look forward to flying this again 
albeit on a on a dead calm day like I did with the Z51 Predator. Uh, I think this one only cost me around forty five dollars Australian last year. I think I purchased this one off eBay, so I think it's pretty affordable now. It's been out for a while, so I might pop in a link uh, in the description if you want to just check it out. Click on it and just check it out for yourself. But um, yeah, guys, I'm enjoying the planes. Um, you know, coming from quadcopters, I've always wanted to get into planes, and I'm having a lot of fun with them. So, I mean, most of you guys that are watching are quadcopter pilots, and if you haven't uh, flown a plane yet, I suggest you do. It's a lot of fun, believe me, it is. Uh, that's why I wanted to fly this one as soon as possible. So, anyway, enough talk. I uh, hope you enjoyed that <laughs> rather entertaining sort of flight. A few mishaps there. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Until then, uh, happy flying. And I'll see you guys soon. Enjoy the hobby, guys. Bye for now.